Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be showing how to create a PLC program for a specific application which is an automatic bottle filling system. So here is a conceptual figure on how the system works. So first, there is a start and stop button which is uh, shown in here which are used to start and stop the process. Once the start button is pressed, the conveyor starts moving until the proximity sensor is on. So in this system, there is a conveyor where the bottles are placed and lined up approaching to this uh, filling station. So once you press the start button, the conveyor will turn on and this motor will drive the conveyor so that the bottles will move. So once the bottle reach the filling station, there's a proximity sensor here that will trigger and stop the conveyor so that the filling process will start. Then the solenoid valve is open for a few seconds until the limit sensor is triggered. So once the proximity sensor detected the bottle, the conveyor will start and this solenoid valve will be open so that the filling process will start. And it will continue until this limit sensor is triggered. So this limit sensor uh, identifies the bottle when it is already full. So when this sensor is triggered, the conveyor will move again for the next bottle. So after this bottle is filled, the conveyor will move again and the proximity sensor will now be triggered off until the next bottle is sensed by this proximity sensor. The process should continue until the stop push button is pressed. So before we create the PLC program, let's identify the inputs and outputs of this uh, system. So the inputs are the start push button, the stop push button, the proximity sensor, and the limit sensor. And for the output, they are the conveyor motor, and the solenoid valve. So now let's create the PLC program. So here we'll be able to create the PLC program for the automatic bottle filling station using this website plcfiddle.com. So here's the default program upon accessing the website and we have by default three variables here the start button, stop button, and the motor. Now uh, let's add the variables needed for this program. So we already have the start button and the stop button here. We have the motor here which uh, can represent the conveyor. Let's add the proximity sensor. The limit sensor upon checking when the bottle is filled. And we have the output for the solenoid valve. Now we want to make sure that the machine will latch so that even if uh, the start button is unpressed or, or back to the off position, uh, the machine will still continue to operate unless the stop button is pressed. So we'll add a variable here for machine or the system. So now let's uh, use this first run and convert this to machine. So we're doing this as our strategy in creating the program for the latching. Now let's have a variable here, an input coil which refers to the machine so that the conveyor will turn on only when the machine is on. So let's have a coil here which will represent the conveyor motor. So we can already actually simulate here when we start this machine. The machine is on and the conveyor motor will run. When we turn off the start button, the machine still is on and the motor is still running as long as the stop button is not pressed. So once we turn on the stop button, that's the time that the machine will stop. 
So now that the conveyor will run, let's add how to trigger it on the filling station. So in order for the conveyor motor to stop, that must be sensed by the proximity sensor. And since uh, the motor should run, when nothing is being sensed by the proximity sensor, we're going to use the normally closed contact for the proximity sensor. So, in this case, when the machine is on, the conveyor will run and the proximity sensor is off, which means there is a none being sensed, no battle being sensed by this proximity sensor. Now, what we want is that when this is triggered on, the conveyor will stop. So, see, that will trigger the motor for the conveyor. When this is off, the motor will continue to run while still the machine is operating. Now let's add another round here to illustrate the filling system. So what will be the trigger for the filling system? It will be the proximity sensor. So let's add a open contact, normally open contact here for the proximity sensor. So I place it normally open so that when the proximity sensor is on, that's the only time that the water filling station will uh, activate. So that will be the coil for the filling station, which is represented by the solenoid valve. So what will gonna trigger the solenoid valve to, to stop while there is a bottle being sensed by the proximity sensor? So that will be the limit sensor. So I will add here a limit sensor. So this limit sensor is being identified by normally closed because that will only be turned on when the bottle is full and that will stop the solenoid valve. So here the limit sensor is already triggered. The solenoid valve stops filling. But after this, the conveyor should return to running condition. So how will we be able to add that condition? We must add here a trigger to turn on the conveyor motor when the limit sensor is on. So how? We can add here a parallel contact with the proximity sensor. Let's have a normally open coil for the limit sensor. So now, since the limit sensor is on, the bottle is full, it will now turn back the motor to on condition and will run the conveyor. And since the conveyor will run, the bottle will move and the proximity sensor will now not detect any bottle. Likewise, the limit sensor will be turned off. And thus, it will continue the operation until there's another bottle approaching this filling station. So when, when there's another bottle, the proximity sensor will be turned on again, the motor will stop, and the solenoid valve will start filling again. And once the bottle is full, the limit sensor will be turned on and will start stop the filling station or the solenoid valve turned off and move the conveyor again. And upon moving the conveyor, the bottle will be out of the sensor again, turn off and turn off, and the motor keeps running until the next bottle arrives. So now, the only way to stop the operation of this machine is to use the stop button. So by pressing this, it will be gonna turn on. So the stop button is on and the whole operation is now turned off. And that should be off even if the sensors are triggered. So let's check. So upon turning on the proximity sensor, the solenoid valve still operates. So in order to solve this, let's add another contact here, which will represent the machine. So now, whenever the machine is turned off, both the conveyor motor and the solenoid valve will also be sure to be turned off.
So now, as you can see, even if the proximity sensor is on, the solenoid valve is not working unless we resume back to the operation by clicking on the start button. And now we will go back, triggering the solenoid valve again once the proximity sensor is turned on. Then the cycle will come back again to what we have discussed a while ago. Now if you want to save this program, you we'll just go to other and click save. And the URL or the link for this program can now be found. You'll just need to copy this and save and paste later so that you can access this program. And this link I have added in the description below so that you may access and check and manipulate this program for you to explore. So that's all. Thank you.